Hello everybody, my name is Greg. I'm a Canadian amateur radio operator and my call sign is Victor Echo 6 Whiskey Golf Mike. Today I'd like to share with you my wonderful mess. Um, yes, I do have an advanced qualification radio license. Doesn't really mean I know anything, but I'm not afraid to experiment. I've recently obtained a Nano VNA and um, I, I bought it because I wanted to be able to do a little bit more in-depth analysis and learning of things like balans and antennas. Um, for any of you that have actually used a VNA and might even actually be RF engineers, you're going to look at this and your head's probably going to explode. There's um, so much uh, stray capacitance and uh, RF coupled into places where it doesn't belong with this setup that it's probably not very... Uh, well, it's just not right, but <laughs> anyhow, this is what I've got. This is um, the parts that I have, and um, I'm working at low frequencies, so it's not like, you know, um, microwave frequencies where all of this stuff would just make anything, you know, any kind of hope of getting any kind of measurements out of this would be, would be almost impossible. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to try this out. The idea is I've got a DG0SA one-to-one -one ballon that I've built here. And I'm going to be using this on an 80 meter dipole antenna. I want to ensure that this ballon is actually giving me good common mode rejection ratio. That's the goal of what I'm doing here right now. So I built a little circuit here. Um, if you look here, this is your S11 port of the nano vna i'm using it as a signal source and this is single-ended so i'm splitting it into two to feed common mode signal into the ballon so these ballons um, as far as i understand from the reading i've done this particular type can be uh, looked at as a transmission line transformer style of ballon so um, anyway they i think in pretty much any ballon or transformer they're bi-directional unless you build them to not be like in a uh in a uh, directional coupler or something like that. Anyway, um, so it doesn't really matter if I feed common mode into the input and measure what's coming out, or if I feed common mode into this side and measure what's coming out of here. And in, in reality, what I'm trying to do is block common mode from coming back off the antenna if there's an impedance mismatch. I don't want it coming back through the ballon onto, normally there would be a coaxial feed line here. I don't want it coming back onto my coaxial feed line and disrupting the radiation pattern of the antenna and um, having RF on the outer portions of the shield of the coaxial cable. It doesn't belong there. Um, I'm also hoping that I'm going to get a good match out of this thing. So I'm hoping that my characteristic impedance is pretty close to 50 ohms. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the way it's wound and, and other characteristics. So anyway, today the focus is common mode rejection ratio. So I'm taking and recombining the balanced output of this ballon into single-ended to feed into S21 of my VNA. Feeding it here, yeah. So what I've done is I've tried my best to calibrate the VNA um, so I've removed the ballon and c connected these together and I've told the VNA that that's zero dB loss. Then I disconnected them, told the VNA that that is maximum loss. I think this thing's good for about 70 dB, if I remember correctly. Um, so I, when I actually disconnect them now, I see I've got about 60, 65 dB difference in signal so I am getting some coupling in the places where I'm not supposed to but I don't think it's enough to actually make the measurements completely irrelevant um, so yes this is not ideal but let's see if it gives us some kind of an idea of the behavior of this ballon so <clears throat> I've already gone ahead and hooked it up here if we look at the nano VNA you can see let's let's go here sweep this down in frequency um, you can see that it is actually rejecting the input signal, the common mode signal. Now down at um, 50 kilohertz, which is my lowest sweep, and I'm sweeping up to 10 megs. Um, down at 50 kilohertz, I have virtually no rejection here. And I, it's just because it's so low in frequency, there's no reactants left in the, in the, the circuit there to be able to reject anything common mode. 
it's just passing whatever um, is on the input side straight through at that frequency. But now if we come up in frequency, you can see that the inductive reactance um, starts to increase, which causes my common mode rejection ratio to increase. And I'm looking for, yeah, 1.8. Okay, so there's 160 meters and uh, I've got 26 dB common mode rejection ratio. Now if we go back up into our 80 meters area, three point, yeah, sure. Okay, so now we're sitting at around 33 dB rejection, common mode rejection. Um, so I'm pretty happy that this thing's actually doing what I think it's supposed to do. Um, there's a few other tests I've done. I just got this nano VNA and I'm just getting used to using it. Um, there's a few other tests I've done. Um, I'll maybe share those with you in another video and show you how I set this thing up to use it to get the readings that I did. But this is a, a mess and I'm quite happy to take this apart and put it away. Now that I've documented what I've done and the results, um, I, I'm pretty convinced that this thing is giving me common mode rejection ratio and uh, I'm interested to see how it behaves uh, on the mast connected to a dipole. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.